Hey, so there was one other thing that I forgot to mention, and it's, it's not Trump-related. This is about uh, this morning. I don't know, maybe some of you saw it, those of you who trade Forex. The Bank of Japan had to intervene in the currency markets to sell the yen. In other words, the yen was getting so strong that the BOJ had to intervene today to sell it. And by the way, yen is just popping right back after that intervention. So what happened? Here's the question. What happened to all those guys like Kyle Bass? Remember the Japan debt crisis? You know, supposedly Japan was having a debt crisis. The yen is so strong, the Bank of Japan has to sell it to keep it down. Um, 10-year government bonds in Japan are what, like zero? I mean, the guy is a total, total fool and a moron. And this is what happens when you don't understand how the monetary system functions. This is what happens when you conflate, you know, a non-currency issuing country with a currency issuing country. There was never, there's no, and by the way, what did Kyle Bass do recently? He shorted the Chinese yuan. And now that's up to like the highest level in four months. So he's licking his wounds on that one too. The guy's a total and complete imbecile. Just don't understand. Don't understand how things work. It's it's easy taking their money. And what, you know, what's mind boggling is that these guys manage quite a bit of money, but I, I don't think that's going to be the case for very long. I do not. Go take his money. Very easy. So easy. Just do the opposite of what he does. All right. So the Bank of Japan had to sell. They're selling the yen to try to keep it down. There's your Japanese debt crisis, right? <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Really. I've been in this business a long time. And there's shit that still doesn't cease to amaze me. Idiots running huge amounts of money. But the biggest idiot must be me. Because I'm not running huge amounts of money. So I'm right all the time. <laughs> Crazy, man. All right. See you later. Bye.